Today I decide to make a video on something I purchased on Amazon which after purchasing it and trying it out I called Amazon and told them the thing wasn't work. I saw a video on YouTube where the person was speaking on about OB2 scanners. They were given the top 10 best OB2, OBD2 scanners. And this one was the third one amongst the 10. They stated that any vehicle which was manufactured after 1969, I stand to be corrected, 1969 is OBD2 compliant. I have a vehicle which is 2001, so I assumed it is OBD, OBD2. For some reason, I cannot get this out right. OBD2 compliant. So I purchased this on Amazon but you see what some of us youtubers fail to see it's true that the American board decide that all vehicles coming into America and all vehicles that were made in America should be OBD2 compliant. From, I, again, I stand to be corrected, from 1969 upward. What the YouTubers fail to tell us that this was only for America, not for the Caribbean, not for certain parts of the world. There is a lot that was said about this, which if you'll need to find out any more please do your research i purchased this i went according to what the youtuber said i purchased this when i got it it didn't work on my vehicle i know my vehicle is a 2001 so, I tried it on some early, earlier model vehicles, about three other vehicles apart from mine. It didn't work. I called Amazon. They gave me a replacement. And I told them I still want the scanner. So, I then got this one when it came it still did not work I said to myself 
give and take. It cannot be both scanners. A wrong. Anyway, I went ahead. I got this one. All that is going on one what one YouTuber said. Misinformation. None of these scanners worked on my vehicle. I decided I cannot call Amazon and tell them. I told them one scanner already didn't work. I cannot call and say the other scanners are not working. It has to be something wrong with my vehicle. I checked. I traced wiring. I did everything possible. I didn't get any results. My sister sold her vehicle and she got another vehicle. Since I'm a handyman, I do a little in everything. She called me to check out a vehicle for her. I said that is a good opportunity. Let me go with my scanners. I took my tester and I went to her place with my scanners. I said, well, since this is the first scanner I purchased, and when I did the reviews, go on the site, check it out, it has a five star. It's rated very high. I said, let me put the scanner on the vehicle and just run a test. There was nothing wrong with the vehicle, no engine light, nothing. I just decided to run a test. Plug the scanner on the vehicle. The scanner is working. I felt bad because I call Amazon and tell them the scanner isn't working. They refund me. But because I'm in the Caribbean, they tell me to do what I want with the scanner. I try to open the scanner, I try everything because I like gadgets. I said, if the scanner isn't working, I already purchased another one. Let me get into the scanner and see what is what. For some reason, I didn't get it open. Okay, I said, if this scanner works on her vehicle, let me try this one, which none of them worked on mine, that scanner worked also. The reason I am doing this video, I learn a lot from YouTube, but we should never take one person's views or whatever that person is talking about for it. We should always check out other videos if whatever they spoke about the, that you want, do your research before you go and buy. Right now, I have free scanners. Free working scanners. It's true that the United States passed the law, but it was only for the United States. England was still out. 
China was still owed. And that's the place we get. Right now, most of our cars come from Japan. Those cars that were coming down at the time wasn't OBD2 compliant. So if you have a vehicle, do not think it's OBD2 compliant. That's if you're in the Caribbean. If you're in America, yes. You're in the Caribbean, no. So if you have any plans to get one of these things to check your vehicle, you have to be very, very careful about false advertising. I don't regret the scanners because you find this one would do certain things, this one would do certain things. I took an Android scanner, which I haven't really tried out as yet. But this scanner, I have it up on my channel as faulty. The scanner isn't faulty. My vehicle isn't OBD2 compliant. So for y'all that are in the Caribbean, y'all have to be very, very careful when purchasing scanners for your vehicle. I doesn't want to step on anybody's toes. I won't call any names, but when advertising, we all want to make a small sale. I am an affiliate. It's true I want to make a small commission, but I believe in saying it as it is. I feel guilty. I call Amazon, they replace the stuff. I purchased something after that on Amazon, the thing was damaged. It was damaged, I got it damaged. But because I felt guilty, I didn't call Amazon. I didn't tell them about the thing because that is working so i accepted the other order i had that was damaged we have to be very careful when looking at certain things on youtube and purchasing my vehicle was down some time ago I needed to take out some bushings. I saw a video on YouTube where the guy used certain cups to take out the bushings. I ordered the set. Only when it came, it couldn't work on my vehicle. You see, when the set cost me 87 US, when it came to the Caribbean, I had to pay 500 EC. We are using EC currency, 500 EC to clay it, to get it out. And it never worked. It never worked worked because the angle on my wheel bearing was totally different that the cups couldn't sit flush i got so frustrated i fought with it i damaged it i accept my loss the next time 
I have to be very careful when I'm doing my research and going on YouTube and it's true you're learning you're learning a lot from certain videos on YouTube also you find the YouTubers cater for certain people and not for everybody because when they show you something they would tell you about it next thing you know the thing is already out now for somebody that is learning that's not the way to go it should that they doesn't want the video to be long it's long it would be boring for instance this one i know somebody would find it's boring but at least somebody will learn something from it you cannot please everybody somebody will learn something from it so whenever you need something you don't know of you need a tool you go on youtube to find out what tool you need to do a certain job before you purchase that tool do your research do your research don't do like me and spend money and then that's it just do your research with that said i'll be signing out for now until the next one bye